So today I'm going to talk about real sleep paralysis episodes. Sleep paralysis is also known as SP. So every time I say SP during this video, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Also, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Like this video if you want to. For those who don't know, SP is very common and normally occurs when you're falling asleep or open waking. This experience includes a lot of symptoms that happens because of a brain's area called REM. Basically, you're aware of your surroundings but are unable to move, speak, or breathe. And your mind plays tricks with you. Tricks that can be creepy, weird, and scary. So I'm sharing here today two real cases of SP. First one happened to me, Sir Owen. Second one happened to Nick. I'll link it in the description. Hope you enjoy it. So, I don't know how to explain this, but I have sleep paralysis since I was a little boy. First episode I remember was back in 2009 when I was 8 to 9 years old. Since then I haven't stopped having these weird experiences that make me go insane sometimes. But I'm gonna tell you one of the most recent episodes I had. Well, I was tired. I suffered from insomnia so my sleep schedule was pretty messed up. And I was having a bad week. My mom was at home the day and I told her that I was going to try to take a nap. I lay on my bed, closed my eyes, and wished that I could have at least some minutes out of this shitty world. Uh, I can't remember exactly how, but for some kind of miracle I fell asleep fast and okay, uh, nothing abnormal. It would be just to do taking a nap. Or at least I thought it would be. I opened my eyes and I couldn't breathe correctly. My body was full of anxiety and I remember that I thought, Oh no, not this shit again. I don't know how, but my mind was aware of everything except that my body wasn't moving. I tried to move. I tried it, tried it, and tried it, and nothing would work. I was nervous because of... All of that was added to the fact that everything was so dark. It looked like there was some kind of hair in front of my eyes that was stopping me from seeing things. And that's when the thing got weird. Oh, I don't have long hair. My hair is short, so it couldn't be me. So who was then? What was happening to me? Who was there with me? I tried to put my head up and I couldn't do it. I remember my mom was home and she always helped me with that kind of stuff so I called her. After all, that could be an SP experience but also, what if someone was there with me? My voice couldn't go out. It looked like it was an eternity. I felt like hours were passing and I was there without moving and barely breathing. That's when I felt a hand on my head. Normally, my SP episodes were just hearing or seeing things, but someone was holding my head. They started shaking it. I was scared, nervous, and tried to scream and fight back, but nothing was working. It was the first time I was experiencing an episode like that, and I didn't know how to deal with it. Suddenly, I heard a woman screaming. It was terrifying. She screamed like she wanted something from me. She couldn't stop screaming and I felt like crying but no tears were there. I felt sad and depressed. I couldn't move, couldn't breathe, and couldn't cry. All I could do was listen to that woman scream to me while she shaked my head continuously. Hi everyone, I'm Nick, 
I'm 19 and I just wanted a place to watch my ESPN Calder. My first encounter was about two years ago when I was 17. I was going through a time of depression I'm better now though. I was sleeping on my back when I woke up to a sort of cloudy figure above me. However, I could very much make out sort of my sinister scroll. I also remember hearing a deep laughter. Uh, I was scared shitless and even started praying despite me being unreligious. The comfort of praying helped it make the entity go away and I was able to wake up. Needless to say, I didn't get much sleep that night. Uh, I believe I can determine the cause of this encounter. As I mentioned before, I was feeling depressed at the time and I hadn't got much sleep in general, maybe 3-4 to four hours a night, only falling asleep out of pure emotional exhaustion. This night, however, I tried taking melatonin to force myself to fall asleep. Uh, I'm not saying melatonin calls it, though I haven't used it since, never had the need to try it again. The aspect of forcing myself to fall asleep will come into play with later encounters. Uh, next up, the boy in the mask. This actually happened just yesterday, so my memory is more clear. A little bit of backstory, I just got hired and worked at Olive Garden on my layup this week. My shift started early in the morning. Because of this, I've been trying to force myself to fall asleep, just like the last encounter, except no melatonin, and spy me not really feeling the urge to sleep. Uh, unlike with the first encounter, I've been getting decent amounts of sleep lately. I can't say for sure forcing myself to fall asleep is a cause, but it's something I've been encountered to share so far for whatever reason. Uh, I started waking up with the feeling of my back going numb and a quick loud noise in my ear. My eyes then shut open. I was laying on my side and I could see a boy levitating above the ground sitting with his legs crossed. I say a boy because he seemed small in stature. I couldn't control where my eyes looked. My eyes also seemed to be paralyzed. His head was just barely cropped out of my vision. I do know he was wearing some sort of gas mask though because I could see the sort of thing that goes out to the bottom part of the mask. He was wearing some kind of leather jacket and because of his small stature and the mask he reminded me of the boy version of Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid 5 if any of you know that. Uh, no, they said, reminded and not identical. My final encounter also reminds me of another character but again not identical. He was completely silent and just seemed to be observing me. I wasn't scared at all this time but rather curious as to how I got there. I quickly made the connection of oh this is just paralyzes again. I instinctively knew this couldn't hurt me. I then just focused on breathing through my nose normally. After a short while, less than a minute, he seemed to grow disinterested and disappeared in the blink of an eye. I then woke up, looked around, gave myself a little chuckle because I handled this paralysis much better than the last one. I just wasn't afraid at all despite not being able to move or the fact of a levitating entity was right in front of me. From the point of view of SP, of course. Uh, lastly, the desert girl. This encounter was just tonight the most wild of different encounters I've had. I have once again tried forcing myself to fall asleep early and slightly hungry too. Uh, at around 3 a.m. in the morning this SP trip started. This one is odd for several reasons, but the first reason is this trip was seemingly one where I went in and out multiple times of the actual paralysis. My first scene was waking up to a circular mirror despite this mirror not existing in my room. Inside the mirror I can see a line of bulbs march in single file. I know it's super weird but just bear with me. Again, I'm not religious so I don't know how I saw a bunch of bulbs walking. I know they were bulbs though because the details of the clothes were extremely clear. They had the cap, the white clothing and even the exact facial features of the current folk, at least according to my memory. 
They were even holding some kind of golden scepter, which I'm not sure if that's something the Pope actually has or not. But is anyone out of SP aware that, oh, it's happening again? And just accepted it. I was more curious to see what would happen tonight, so instead of getting up and moving around, I just stayed in bed, not moving. I didn't have to wait too long, as this time the main event kicked in. I once again felt my back going numb and my spine just pretty much going dead. Again, the loud sound in my ears and my eyelids pop open, but I'm still laying on the same side I was when I was looking at the mirror. Only this time I see a girl there, but a very weirdly shaped girl. The top of her head seemed to be a cone pointing forwards. I can't even fully describe it, it was super weird. It reminded me of some type of cartoon character who has one of those long drawn out noses extending from the head. Only it wasn't a nose because when she leaned in I could see the nose underneath. If it wasn't for the cone, she actually appeared very beautiful. She was dark and smooth skinned and her other facial features were pretty. Her eyes appeared to be golden and she looked like she was wearing a ton of jewelry, especially on the cone part of the head. I said it looked it like because while the shapes were there, the colors weren't. I felt like I was viewing a black and white image, so instead of gold, it was a tainted white. I can't exactly describe her outfit, but her appearance reminded me of Orboza from Breath of the Wild. Again, not identical to the character, only having traits that reminded me of them. Again, overall, she was beautiful and pretty stunning, ignoring the cone part of her head. She seemed to be talking to me in English, it whispers and looked very eager to talk. I was too busy thinking about all oh, this is SP to hear what she was saying. As I studied her, she moved in closer and closer until she was so close I could see her tongue while she was talking in my face. And part of me thought she was legit gonna lick me because of how close her tongue came to my face. I don't know. Don't ask. Her behavior creeped me out, but I still wasn't afraid and knowing she wasn't real, and I thought I'd try to push the limits of what I could do when being an SP. I tried punching and fighting her to make her back away, but my arms couldn't move. That didn't stop me from trying, though. I kept trying for about a minute until something bizarre happened. I thought I had regained control of my body and I thought I saw my arms in front of my body, just generally trying to fight off the entity in front of me. So weird because I legit saw my arms in front of me in my vision and I was convinced my arms were there, but as I will later find out when I woke up they hadn't moved an inch from when I fell asleep. I guess that's normal for dreams in general, but it felt so real and I felt more awake than in previous encounters simply because of the activity I thought I was doing, also known as fighting. Another odd thing is when I was trying to fight her, it looked like my hands were just going through her, like she was just a projection or a hologram. Once I realized this, I just stopped fighting and went back to laying down. When I woke up for the final time, I moved around to make sure I was actually awake and that I wouldn't be dragged back into SP again.